Hello, what you working on? Oh, just finishing up my BRM poster. Oh, that's nice. It just not bad. That looks right? great. Yeah. Well, let me introduce myself real quick. So my name's Christian Parker. I work for Skip Hansen on the Ibis team. And let me tell you a little about BRM. So BRM is Backup and Recovery Manager. And it is an application that lets users monitor and manage their backup products from a single application. The BRM user interface is built with HTML and JavaScript. We use a framework called Sentia. We have browser versions as well as versions for iOS and Android. Like most rich web UI applications, our UI consumes data via REST API. It only consumes data via this API. No views are generated on the server. Our server runs in the Java virtual machine in a regular Tomcat servlet container. And the server is written in Scala. Scala, if you don't know, is a modern language for the Java virtual machine. We like Scala because it lets us write more functionality with less code. We dump our data into a NoSQL database called MongoDB. MongoDB is a great fit for BRM because it's fast, it scales well, and it allows quick and easy searching, paging, filtering, and sorting. Okay, we communicate with the backup products via message bus. We originally started BRM with ActiveMQ and later moved to RabbitMQ, and in version 1.2, the current version, we actually use both at the same time. On each of the backup products, we run a small adapter. On the networker backup product, the adapter is written in Python, and for Avamar, it's written in Java. And those adapters publish events to the message bus. Those events are collected by our Scala server, so we can build reports and graphs. So BRM is packaged as a virtual appliance and also as an ISO image, and it's ready to be installed in your backup infrastructure today. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's perfect.